Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. We got our logistic bots done. We've got 300 of them, and I think that should be enough to at least get us started uh, for a good long ways. Uh, so I think it's time to go ahead and remove all this. Uh, let's turn off mouse over deconstruct, because we don't want to pick up all of this extra garbage. Um, I've got a deconstruct planner set to deconstruct everything except for power poles and robo ports as well as our gun turrets. Uh, so that will leave the infrastructure. Uh, we'll have to go back and pick up those things later, but the bulk of it, the robots can take out just through this command right here. And that's going to take a little while. Uh, it's going to take a little while indeed. I'm hoping we have enough storage. I went ahead and added another row of storage chests up there, so we'll probably be fine. If not, uh, we'll, we'll just add more. And uh, that's going to take a while, but uh, we've got some stuff to work on while that is working. So let's take a second and talk a little bit about barrel trains. Um, I made this design during a stream, and it works but I just never was really happy with it, <laughs> which is why I never really got into it in the series. I wanted to see if there is a better way, at least a more elegant way to go about doing that. And uh, I was having some issues with uh, turning the train on and off. It, it, there's just a lot of stuff going on. And uh, I think I found a way to do that. So what I want to do is take the contents of this chest right here and send those into the back of this combinator. This is going to be the one that is going to be responsible for detecting if we need to get a train. So I want each signal coming in, and if that is greater than some threshold, let's say like 200, go ahead and output a signal that uh, we, need, we, need, we need that to be taken care of. And that's going to be our signal to actually call the train. And do we not have this hooked up? Uh, it appears that we don't. Uh, interesting. All right. Uh, well, that's a good thing to know. All right. That will probably be something like that. All right. So that's a signal. Just one barrel signal that says that it's time for a train to come. Currently, we don't have that situation. Let's go ahead and throw some empty barrels in here that I just happen to have laying around. Um, we are getting... Uh, that's what we only have. Let's set it to 100 temporarily just to get the signal coming through. Okay, we now have that signal, output signal of one. That is the one we want to send out on the network. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, we'll send it here for now. Well, we don't have that all hooked up, so... Uh, we'll hook up those two poles right there when we're ready to go. All right, then I want to take that signal and I want to make it negative. Uh, so we'll get that, send it into the back of this combinator, and then I want to send that negative one to our train station, and that negative barrel signal is what I want to control our train stop being open. So we'll say if anything coming in is less than zero, uh, that's the signal for the train station to turn on. So currently it's open because we're getting that negative barrel signal. If we remove some of those barrels, that's going to close the station, which is what we want. All right. Now, since we are reading the train contents, as soon as that train comes in and starts grabbing these barrels, that signal is going to cancel out this signal, and that's going to be greater than zero. That's going to close our station and give us the functionality we want where no other train will try to come to this station. So it's a twofer. Um, all right, so that is good. Um, the next thing we need is if one train can't get all these barrels, we want to pulse another barrel signal coming out whenever, whenever that occurs. So I want to take the contents, re reading the train contents, we'll send that into the back of this combinator and just say for each signal coming in, if it's greater than zero, output each, we'll normalize that to one. And then, again, I want to negate that signal, make it negative, and then combine that with this guy that's sending that signal out. 
So as soon as a train comes in and starts getting barrels in it, that's going to spit out a negative one. That's going to cancel out this signal. So we're no longer sending that barrel request. Whenever the train leaves, if we still have that condition, that, that, ne that one will pulse back out onto the network. Not pulse, but it'll go back out onto the network. So we're gonna turn off that barrel signal temporarily. And if it's still needed when the train goes through, uh, that that will work. And I think with those four combinators right there, I think we get all of the functionality we need and we don't have to do all that, uh, all that, that barrel nonsense and the stuff with the green signals. I think that'll work, uh, hopefully. Do we have a barrel train coming? We do, that's a good sign. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, we'll roll the intro and uh, start working on some train yard stuff. Uh, we'll hitch a ride with this guy back. Boy, they just keep expanding, don't they? Oh, look at that one. He's really, really close. Yeah, no, I'm, I, we're, we'll be fine. We're, we're fine. Nothing to worry about. All right, so I am back at our first train yard, the one that has all of our base materials plus the electronic circuits. And um, what I'm looking into, it's more of like a nitpick than it is an actual issue. But as you can see, we're getting a request for gear wheels as well as advanced circuits coming through on the network. And our train counter here is keeping track of that. So we've got gears and we've got advanced circuits on our train counter here. Uh, problem is, we're never going to have an advanced circuit or a gear train to launch from here, so that never number is never going to go down. Uh, so what I'd like to do is filter those off. It's not really causing a problem other than just it's kind of... It, it's just... it. it I, I want to I filter it out. <laughs> That's all there is to that. And I was thinking of a couple ways to do that, and I think I found a way that works for me. Um, I have a constant combinator here that has all uh, one signal for each item that we're currently dealing with at this train yard. So these are all of our individual stations going to the north. Um, I want to take those values, feed it into the back of this combinator, and I want to multiply it by some ludicrous number, maybe like uh, 100,000. Uh, that's... A little bit excessive. Uh, we need a number that's bigger than any signal that we're actually going to get on this network. We're never going to get a hundred thousand trains requested for iron plate, uh, so we shouldn't have a conflict. It's not perfectly safe, but it's safe enough for what we're going to be doing with it. Uh, let's go ahead and unhook that from the main network. All right, and then what I want to do is take this into the back of this combinator and I want to take each signal and I want to subtract 100,000 from it and then output each signal. And then I want to combine our external network into the back of that combinator as well. Uh, so we're adding 100,000 only for the signals that we actually want in here. If it's if it's not coming in here, if it's not one of the items, it's not getting that 100,000 added to it. And then we're subtracting that 100,000 and we can look down at our output signal here. We see we have one lubricant barrel signal coming through and then negative 99K, 99,999 of gears and advanced circuits. Uh, so that is making those less than zero since we're not filtering it off. Um, this was the isolator or the the valve so we can take that out this will serve as our valve and I want to put another combinator there that says if each signal coming in greater than zero I want to send out the input count and we'll take the output of this combinator put it into the back of that one and uh, this is our pulse generator, so we'll want a green wire going into the output of that, as well as a red wire going into the input. And that should put us in good shape. All right. Let's go ahead and reset this. Um, this should all be good now. 
unhook that, rehook that back up, and now in our counter, we only get our lubricant barrel count. The advanced circuit and the gears are getting filtered off right there. Excellent. Again, it's not really needed, but it's a, it's, it's a cleanliness thing. <laughs> it's a neatness thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and blueprint that. Okay, and do we have our personal train here? We do. Uh, let's get this guy. Let's go over to the news station here. No, I can't. I can't go. No path to destination. Oh, that's right. I have that. I have that locked off. All right. We'll have to go and uh, reset those tracks to get that station open. And we're going to go and get our advanced circuits as well as gears set up. A little bit of a walk here, isn't it? All right, so first things first, we want to take off these guys and replace it with this. All right, and we want to remove all of these guys. Get that all set up. Okay, and then we only want to read the signals for the guys that we're interested in. Why are we only getting a coal signal? Because it's not hooked up to the network. All right, makes sense. Uh, all right, so we want, uh, starting out, we're going to want uh, gears. We're going to want advanced circuits, definitely. Uh, probably engine units. We'll go ahead and set those up. And uh, electric engines. And I believe that's all we're currently making, right? I think so. Uh, that'll that that'll work. All right. And as for these stations, let's go ahead and get them set up. Uh, one for gears. One for uh, let's turn on robots. Apparently, all the uh, building wasn't done. Okay. Uh, you are going to be the train for item equals advanced circuit. And you're going to be uh, for advanced circuits. Now, uh, did that get our coal? It did. Why are we not getting coal? Uh, because we're missing one of these. There we go. Okay, you are going to be item equals gear wheels, I think it is. Gear wheel. Um, iron gear wheel. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Iron gear wheels there, and this should now be ready to go. Uh, we'll hook up this to the main network. And now our counter is showing a signal for iron gear wheels as well as advanced circuits. Excellent. Uh, now we just need the trains. Uh, we just need the trains coming in. And uh, I noticed that uh, in editing that I had messed up right here and I named this station wrong. Um, that is not a, des a source. That is the destination item equals cargo wagon. There we go. And uh, now we just need the trains, and I think we should be able to do this from the map. So we'll come down here to our newly minted train. Uh, you are going to go to the gear source. You are going to go to the gear refuel station. You are going to go to the gear launch station, and then you're going to go to the gear delivery station. Okay, uh, inactivity there, inactivity there. 
Uh, we want you to fill up until you have a full cargo inventory and you want to wait here for a circuit condition of gear wheels greater than zero. Is that good? I think so. Make it so. All right, then we'll wait here a bit. And here's our new train. Uh, you are going to be advanced circuit train. And that's going to go to a requester station. Inactivity. Inactivity. Circuit condition of red circuits greater than zero and full cargo. Good. I think that's good. Uh, we could set up the engine trains, but uh, we don't really have anything requesting those right now. Uh, let's call you up here. Actually, hang out there for a second. Um, I actually don't want you to meet me there. I'd rather you met me, like, over here. Because, uh, yeah, I am noticing that we are getting some biters in this area. And we've got a couple of stations down here that I foolishly didn't put up any defenses on. I would like to take care of those. And let's see, probably putting one right here wouldn't be a bad idea either. Maybe something like uh, that and that. Let's put 25 in there for now, because I'm not expecting these guys to be very busy, but they're more like a, a just-in-case sort of thing. Okay, go ahead and get walls here since we've got them now. Well, apparently we were missing some power poles here as well. All these stations should be just named generically. We've still got some combinators with some values set, but I'm uh, not, not too concerned about it. That all good? I think so. Let's go uh, take a peek up here at this uh, at this base real quick. Uh, what am I looking at there? Oh, okay, it's just a spitter. Yeah. I'll wait till I have the tank. I don't think I have the tank on me. No, just the car. Okay, apparently you guys were missing some stuff, too. All right, yeah, down here, green circuits, uh, absolutely no defense. You guys down here probably will never see any action, but boy, I could just see, <laughs> I could just see Biter sneaking down there and irking me. All right, we also don't have any defense over here. Something like that. All right, and you're a goofy, goofy barrel station. Let's get rid of the goofy barrel station and replace it with the new and improved goofy barrel station. Compact edition. Uh, let's see that hooked up to there. Are we good there?
Uh, let's bump that up again. Let's do like... Um, let's do like 300. Uh, the reason why is this guy will just... I've noticed they just kind of sit here and wait. And their inactivity timers don't go off. So that way they won't have to sit and wait as long. As those barrels trickle in. All right, let's uh, move down here to our make everything area and see how everything is being made. Uh, let's do a little check here. Guys, uh, getting all this stuff up slowly but surely. Got plenty of space in the chests. It appears that we do. All right, how are we looking here? We've got all of the items. We've got robo ports being made. We have gun turrets being made. Excellent. Walls, uh, steel, furnaces. What you missing? You're missing an inserter. Power poles. Combinators. All this stuff looks excellent. Uh, some wire laying right there. That won't do. All right, and over on this side. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> uh, let's adjust these numbers a little bit. Let's say we want like uh, 300 yellow belt and uh, maybe like. Maybe a thousand red belt. Uh, let's bump that up a little bit more. Uh, splitters, I'm good with 50. Undergrounds, let's uh, set that to 100. Um, inserters, what are you missing? You're missing regular inserters. Uh, you're missing iron and circuits. What am I missing here? Oh! That's what I'm missing. All right, that'll get that moving, and uh, you guys will get your stuff moving. Excellent. Very, very nice having that. All right. Um, I think that puts us in a pretty good shape. Uh, very, very pleased. Um, probably this area, I I'm thinking about putting the science area, the, the labs in this area. Uh, so all our science will get delivered here, and then we can start building science facilities going off in that direction. Oh, and there's our water. Cool. All right, so let's see. Make everything. I think we can go ahead and take that one off. We want uh, red science. We'll have a facility for that. Probably one for uh, green science. Uh, blue science. Uh, military science. And slash... Uh, ammo. And then, uh, let's see. What do we need for purple science? Productivity modules. We have everything we need for that. We should be good to go with purple science. Uh, yellow science is going to need the blue chips. Uh, so we're going to want one for blue chips. Uh, we're going to want one for all of our different rocket parts. Well, let's just go ahead and say purple. Uh, 
Uh, yellow. Um, we, we need a science, uh, science lab station. Uh, which should probably be the first one that we make in reality. Then red science, then green science. Might combine those together. I don't know. It seems to make sense. Uh, blue science, we have everything we need for that. Military science, we have everything we need for that. We need, uh, let's see, we can do then purple science. Uh, blue chips. Um, low density structures. Uh, we'll have to be before the yellow science. Then uh, rocket fuel. Uh, control units. And uh, rockets. Is that all we need? I think it's going to be. All right. Oh, we just we just need to do that and we're done <laughs> i think they should go through fairly quickly though um should be i uh, will see uh, but thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it i will see you in the next episode where we start uh working on our sciences and uh get our rocket launched thank you very much for watching see you next time <laughs>